Hi everyone, Troy Sage here, and today on Real Estate Talk, I want to discuss the elephant in the room, or the elephant on the internet, and that is Zillow and Trulia. How they really work, how they affect real estate, how they affect real estate agents and buyers and sellers. So let's start with the facts. Number one, Zillow and Trulia, owned by the same company. Okay, used to be different, same company owns them both. So, as a buyer or seller, you might be saying, and I hear it all the time in my office, well, Zillow says my home is worth this, and buyers say Zillow says the home is worth this. Number one, where is Zillow getting their information? They're buying it from the multiple listing services. Oh, which brings up a whole other topic that I would love to attack right now because our multiple listing services make a boatload of money off Zillow and Trulia, or the same company, paying for that information. But here's the catch. I will get off that rant right now, but I will come back to another episode. They buy the information and it uploads into their system. Then they have some algorithms, the Zill Estimate, the magic Zill Estimate. They take algorithms from across the country and they guess at what your home is worth. So let me ask you this, Mr. Buyer, Mr. Seller. When's the last time Zillow actually listed or sold a home? Matter of fact, when's the last time they've actually been in your neighborhood? Better yet, when's the last time they've been in that particular property? Do they know what it's worth? No. So why? Why, I ask, with all of my heart, why in God's name do you go to Zillow and Trulia and use their numbers? Here's another fact. I had a $1.36 million home listed in Temecula, and it showed its value at $900,000. Hmm. Also read something on the internet that the owner of Zillow sold his home, and his Zillow estimate was off. Hmm. I don't know what any of that means. I really think it's a bunch of, really, total crap. But you guys keep going out there, and you keep thinking that's the gospel truth. Real estate is localized. Zillow is paying a ton of money for the information from the MLS. Then what they do, they call guys like me and say, hey, Troy, for $40,000 a month or whatever the price is on this particular zip code, we will now feature you on your own listing on what I worked for, what you as a homeowner want me to market. I am paying for that marketing. That's where they're making all their money. So you can thank our MLS for giving away all of our information for pennies on the dollar, not giving it back to us as real estate agents, and then having Zillow turn around and charge us for the information that we went out and worked for. So if you're a buyer and seller and you're a big advocate of Zillow and Truly and all those websites that offer you all this great information, read the fine print. It's not great information. Remember, they haven't been in your home. They don't even know the damn area. So Zillow, Truly, exposed for the general public that doesn't hear it. We hear it in the industry every single day. And honestly, we're fed up with it. Only way to stop it is to contact your board and make them stop selling the information to Zillow and Trulia. They probably won't because they're greedy. They want all the money. So this is Troy Sage. This is Real Estate Talk. If you'd like to be on this show, if you'd like to be on a, hell, next to me for any reason whatsoever, shoot me an email. Give me a phone call. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and make it a great day.